right now I think there's two types of police officers. There's police officers that have smartphones and police officers that want a smartphone and just haven't got one yet. So I, I pretty much everybody uh, that working in law enforcement today knows how good uh, a tool a smartphone is. Several years back, we had a uh, tragic homicide in our city uh, at a company called Cyport. Uh, this was probably one of the first instances where the, the iPhone really came into uh, use for us and smartphones in general, was that the suspect, we knew a name, but we did not have the suspect positively identified. He had fled the scene after killing, I believe it was three people. We needed to find him. There was an officer on the scene that had a smartphone uh, with him. He was able to get our records people because there was no way for us to easily get photos. Even in, even several years ago, it was still difficult for us to get photos. He had a, one of our records personnel email him a photograph of the suspect from his DMV photo. We were able to then take that, show that to the, uh, some of the witnesses and say, is this the subject? From right from the iPhone they were able to say, yes, that's the homicide suspect you're looking for, and we had positive identification within minutes of the crime happening, which in the past would have taken us a much longer time. For instance, if we have a suspect that we uh, determine is a violent person, uh, high risk to the public, what we'll do is if we know they're in a certain geographic area, for instance, let's say they fled from a car stop or after a, a crime, uh, and we're able to pinpoint a broad area where they might be, and we know we're going to have to search that area, a lot of officers have the capability to bring up uh, fire maps on their phones and look at specific addresses and where they are in relation to other addresses. And if you can imagine uh, two streets back to back, and each street has uh, houses that are that butt up against each other. Well, that requires two search teams, you know, one for each set of houses, each row. And when you get into the tactics of it without getting too technical, the bottom line is you don't want teams searching directly next to each other because if something happens where somebody has to use deadly force or use uh, a shotgun or a pistol, you don't want those rounds going through the fence and injuring other officers. So it's got to be a coordinated effort where you kind of leapfrog each other and using the maps really assists the officers and the sergeants in being able to coordinate that effort. Um, we use uh, smartphones and iPads and anything else that's electronic that allows us to get the information uh, at our fingertips quickly all the time. It's pretty handy because a lot of folks may not know what a specific violation is or what it says in the vehicle code. And so if you're doing an enforcement action, you're, you have someone stopped on the side of the road and they want sort of clarification, you can actually give that to them and these devices help quite a bit. Unfortunately, with like the vehicle code and penal code, uh, the cost associated with outfitting uh, every single officer with those codes every single year becomes substantial, you know, it's a substantial cost. And so the department can save money by not having to do that to every officer. Um, when an officer has an iPad or a smartphone, they can have the electronic version of those, and the cost is, a, you know, a quarter of the amount of, it, it would be for an actual, you know, physical book version of it. Our one of our IT uh, people here is also developing. Um, the ability for officers to write reports on the iPhone, small reports, and there's an officer that was testing that. The future is pretty exciting. We anticipate that the way the wave of the future is going to be that smartphones will eventually replace our gigantic radios that we carry right now. We can just guess at what it's going to be like, but if you watch any sci-fi television show about the future of law enforcement, it seems that those things are happening.